Hello everyone. At this point in time, we are going to discuss this topic on cylinder. Okay, let's start with the definition. A cylinder is a three-dimensional solid. It contains two parallel bases connected by a curved surface. The bases are usually circular in shape. The perpendicular distance between the bases is denoted as the height h of the cylinder. And r is the radius of the cylinder. Looking at this figure, this illustrates an example of a right circular cylinder. Now moving forward to the formulas of the cylinder. We have here three formulas of a cylinder. The lateral surface area, the total surface area, and the volume of the cylinder. Now let's take first the lateral surface area. So the lateral surface area of the cylinder is equal to 2 pi r square units where pi is a Greek letter which is an irrational number approximately equal to 3.1416 and r is the radius of the circle and H here is the height of the cylinder. Now, how did we arrive with this formula? Okay, if this is the cylinder, removing the two bases of the cylinder, we have this portion. We call this the, the lateral area or lateral surface area. To illustrate that this lateral area can be synonymous with the rectangle by cutting here and unfolding. Remember that the area of a rectangle is equal to its width times its length. But since this lateral area of a cylinder is circular in shape or pattern. We are going to use the circumference of the circle. And the circumference of a circle, represented by letter C, is equal to pi times the diameter. Now the diameter is related to the radius r. In what way? You're going to extend r on the other side of the circle, assuming that this is a straight line. And having twice an r, so 2 times r is equal to the diameter. Again, diameter is equal to 2R. Now, by substitution, this becomes pi times the diameter replaced by 2R. By rearranging, this becomes 2 pi R. Okay, that's how we get this 2 pi r here. Let's represent 
the circumference of the circle or the width of a rectangle times the length or the height. So we have this formula for the lateral surface area. Okay, 2 pi r. So 2 pi r h. Okay. Then proceeding to the total surface area. The total surface area of a cylinder in here is equal to 2 pi r times quantity r plus h. But before we understand this one, let's go back to the figure. So the lateral area or the lateral surface area together with the two bases. We are going to return these two bases and have this complete figure of a cylinder. So take note that the lateral is 2 pi r times h, this one. And the two bases, which is equal to pi r squared, this is times 2, is 2 pi r squared. So this is the The formula. This whole is the formula for the total surface area. The combination of these two is the total surface area. Now you might ask, is this formula equal to this one? Okay, let's see. By simplifying this one, so we can observe that these two terms has a common factor of 2 pi r. Okay? If we're factoring out the 2 pi r, so in the first term, factoring out 2 pi r, we have here h. Okay? What's left in the first term is h after factoring out. Okay, plus after factoring out 2 pi r, what's left here in the second term is r. Now, as you can see, 2 pi r times quantity h plus r, this is the same. This is the same. the same with the formula here. So meaning this formula is the same with this one. This whole one. They are the same with this. Okay, so we are done with the total surface area of a cylinder. Now let's let's proceed to the volume of the cylinder. Okay, the volume of the cylinder is the area of the base, one of the base times the height. So simply that's the volume, the constitute the volume of the cylinder. So pi r squared times height. But one question here that needs to be answered is where did we get pi r squared? Okay. To show, let's have a figure here.
So this figure is a circle. A circle being cut as a pie with several parts where each part is being colored alternately after the other so that after rearranging so that it will look like a, a rectangle so the the length or the width of this side is equal to the radius and the circumference where in the, the diameter is cut into two so we have pi r so in analogy for rectangle width times length here is r times pi r and r times pi r r times pi r is equal to pi r squared so that's where we get pi r squared as an area of a circle okay i hope that that gives you an idea where these formulas come from later in our subsequent topics we are going to use these formulas to solve problems involving cylinders